On the day this episode is uploaded, Friday the 20th of March, 2020, the USA has over 13,000 cases. Increased numbers believed to be the result of increased testing. Only a few days ago, the cases was about 1,300. In Los Angeles, the second local death is announced from Cerveza illness. Still haven't disclosed if it's male or female, but the age was between 30 and 50 with an underlying condition. May they rest in peace. All right, internet friends. We're in front of the local supermarket. Got this brand new mask. I'm gonna try and go get some groceries. Really, all I want is eggs. And if they don't have eggs, I'm leaving the store immediately because that's the only thing I need. But I have not been able to find eggs in California for like almost two weeks. I have a few dozen, but I want more eggs. Let's see what we find. There's plenty of candy in the apocalypse. No one cares about candy, apparently. There's a little bit missing. Canned fruit, canned tomatoes, and some canned beans, canned pasta. Out. Pretty much out here, too. What we got for rice? Let's see. We got four bags of brown rice left and a couple of these ready rice. That's about it. Just as I suspected, that was a royal waste of time. The employee told me they usually get eggs every day at like five in the morning, but lately they've been coming every other day and then they get cleared out. And lately, he said their storage has not been getting refilled. The search for eggs in Orange County continues. I probably just put myself at risk for exposure going in there. Just finishing up some last minute errands here as they begin to lock down Orange County, California. San Francisco's already completely locked down. Last night was St. Patrick's Day and it was like everyone forgot it was St. Patrick's Day, but I talked to one friend and he was like, oh man, I don't care about the, the illness. I don't care. I don't know what's going on. It's all no big deal. I'm going to the bars. Well, at like 11 something PM, like 11.15, lines of cops went up and down the main street with loudspeakers announced that everybody has got to go home, city ordinance, county ordinance, everyone go home, no gathering in public, no gathering at alcohol institutions, everyone go home. So they literally shut down St. Patrick's Day in the busy pub street here in Huntington Beach. Here's something you don't see every day. Gas prices in California are under $3 a gallon. Way less people are on the road now and oil prices have tanked. Russia and Saudi Arabia are dumping oil. To top it off, nobody is driving. So oil prices are gonna continue to go down. Right now they're $2.95. This is the cheapest station in Orange County. And that's rare, California is always more than $3 a gallon. And of course, if we're talking about things shutting down, we have to mention Disneyland, which just closed. That's gonna be devastating. There are literally restaurants and hotels that their sole purpose in life is to be there for Disneyland customers. And now with no Disneyland, no hotel, no restaurant either. Hollywood is shut down. Uh, I'll show you a little excerpt from me talking with my mom. My mom has been a casting agent in Hollywood since the 90s. She's done films. All the production of film and TV is shut down? Yeah, there's hardly anything filming at all. And even like all the live shows are like now without studio audiences. And what's happening is with the, any of the films that were like, they've got a couple of weeks to finish, they're taking hiatus for two months and they'll finish again at like the end of April or beginning of May or something if they can right so all the actors and extras and people and precision drivers i was talking to tonight and crew people were talking about holy shit and driving to la on a friday night was it slow tonight deserted streets no i got there in 45 minutes nobody is filming tv shows nobody's filming movies even the city of la is dead if you try to go to any of these popular streets in hollywood they're ghost towns nobody's there most of the bars are closed. You'll see an occasional drug addict just kind of twitching like a zombie on the corner. With everything that's going on, I'm afraid LA is not a safe place to be, especially going forward. I would not want to be living there, I tell you what. LA County Prison just released a little under a thousand prisoners 
because they're worried about overcrowding and they're not arresting people anymore. They usually get like 300 arrests per night and right now they're looking at 50 arrests a day. So they're only arresting people when they absolutely have to. Petty crimes are not gonna be charged. There's cops that are being sent to grocery stores to stop people from stealing, but if they're not gonna arrest anyone and if they're letting the criminals out on the streets, crime is definitely gonna go up. Definitely lock your shit. Just keep your eyes extra open. And it's not a bad idea to have some kind of personal defense idea or setup, like weapons hidden. You can have guns if you're a gun person. I, I don't know how to shoot a gun. I would probably shoot my own foot. I have very sharp objects hidden all around my house so that no matter what room I'm in, I know a secret spot in that room where I can grab a sharp object if I had to. But my, I don't want to think about that. But I'm very glad I have extra locks on my doors and a very secure place because things are about to get heavy. Orange County declared today no more school until fall. So the kids are out of school for quite a while. The grocery stores are two thirds empty and most of the stuff that you would really want is gone. Eggs, milk, gone. My friend on the internet is trying to find people to give her milk for her baby. She has a two year old and can't find milk for her kid. Meanwhile, my little brothers are going crazy because they're stuck in the house. One of them wanted to go out to the store and buy soccer cleats, like expensive new soccer shoes. And he doesn't understand that you're not going to the store. The store is closed, bro. And the kids are just getting very stir crazy in the house without school, without anything to do. And I'm just trying to tie up my last loose ends before I'm gonna hunker down completely. And then I'm going to the bank and I'm gonna pull out the last of my money that's in there. Because right now, the only thing allowed to be open is like restaurants, gasoline, and grocery stores, and maybe some banks are open. But I'm really glad that I went to Auto Club a few days ago. On Monday, I got the registration paid for, for this here car. Can you imagine if the DMVs closed and the registration expired on this vehicle and I didn't, or worse, I have to go to the DMV because the auto club is closed and I got to stay at the DMV and wait in line around all these sick people or potentially get sick myself. I'm really glad I got that out of the way though. Tying up loose ends, making sure that I've got the last fuel that I need. I just bought a $50 big propane tank so that I can barbecue all my food. Like what good is all this food if I can't cook it? Last night, I inventoried my supplies. I have enough ingredients to make four weeks of chili, like a whole month of my amazing keto chili that's vegetable packed. I have about five or six weeks worth of apples, and then I got a bunch of other food. I can make breakfast for like a month. I'm good for like one to two months, but I'm worried about everybody else. Like I look at the internet and my friends who live in Los Angeles, I'm especially worried about them because almost all of my friends are out of work right now and they all have very expensive rents they gotta pay. I don't know how they're gonna make their rents and LA is getting more desperate. They've had cops at the stores because people are fighting at the stores. I kind of feel like it's the calm before the storm. We just had this beautiful sun come out right now. This whole weekend has been really gloomy. It's kind of added to the ominous feel. The stock market's crashing. People are losing like 10% of their retirement a day and it's raining and there's a virus and we're not allowed to go out in public unless it's for certain reasons. So the ominous vibe is real, yo. I talked to a couple of my buddies that live around here last night. One of them told me the same thing that I was kind of feeling. He said he didn't sleep well last night, was worried about everything. And to be honest, this morning, I had a bit of a panic attack myself watching the stock market. I realized the implications of this. This is gonna be like a five to 10 year depression after this event is finished. Cerveza illness is gonna be the catalyst that popped this 12 year bubble, the longest bubble in human history, the longest expansion in our economy. And now we're gonna see the biggest crash. It's happening right now. The Dow Jones is under 20,000. It's like 19,000. Silver is $11, but every online store is sold out. And even if they could sell you a hundred ounce bar, it's gonna be like $1,500, not $1,300. So there's a separation between the physical price and the actual paper price that is being played out in the stock market. My local dealers are closed anyway. If I ordered some, it'd take like weeks to get here. So precious metals collapse, crypto collapse, the world stock markets collapse. Nobody's working, nobody's going to school for the next spring and summer, right? 
the economy is screwed. These restaurants are never going to come back. They can't recover from this. The government's going to have to bail out everyone. I started to have nightmares last night because they're saying they want to give a thousand dollar check to everybody by the end of this month. A thousand dollar check. I mean, they already blew two trillion dollars in a week on the stock market and it just evaporated money into thin air. I know the outcome of this at the end. It's hyperinflation. My family's from Argentina. Look at this blue for my representing homeland, blue and white right here. Argentinians know what hyperinflation is, man. The government prints a ton of money or they try to give it away or our bonds become worthless like they are. We're gonna give away $1,000 to everyone and bail out every industry, restaurants, cruise ships, airlines, banks, insurance companies. It's gonna be impossible without hyperinflating the currency. Gold and silver may be tanking when you look at them on your phone in the stock market, but I dare you to find, I dare you to find some silver at $13. I want to go to a pawn shop and hope that they're stupid and don't get this premium difference. They're not going to sell. They're not even open. Gold and silver are crashing, but you can't get none. What are you going to do? Hold on to these dollars? I have dollars. I'm worried about it because I have cash. And what if it becomes worthless within the next like two to three months because we start hyperinflating, we start giving everyone $1,000. They're saying $1,000 a month every month to everyone. How? How are you gonna do that? That would cost hundreds of billions of dollars a month. It would cost like trillions of dollars a quarter. I'm worried about the ramifications of all this. But as far as California goes, you know, we're, we're trying to keep from being bored and people are trying to get the last they can in the grocery store. Parents are freaking out. There's a grandma at my dad's house and they really don't even want me to show up there at all. I came by to bring some mail. They were not happy to see me. They were like, where have you been today? What did you do? Kick off your shoes, hand sanitize. Like everyone's very on edge. I hope you guys aren't on edge. This is just my report, episode two, I suppose, from Southern California. This is March 18th, Wednesday, 2020. It's a calm before the storm. I pray that the virus doesn't get here and really mess things up. I wanna give you an audio clip that I don't wanna scare you, but I'm gonna give you guys an audio clip from my relative in Spain. Spain did nothing to quarantine until it was too late and people are dying in their houses there. Está bien, papi, que se suspenda. Se tiene que suspender todo, absolutamente todo, todo. No puede, no puede desarrollarse el virus en Argentina, papá. Acá está pasando algo tremendo en Madrid y estamos en el primer mundo, entre comillas. Imagínate, no hay más nada acá en Madrid. Los médicos están exhaustos, no hay más personal médico. Están pidiendo enfermera, auxiliar de enfermera médicos jubilados que se acerquen a los hospitales porque no dan abasto, no hay más respiradores, no hay más mascarillas, no hay más alcohol en gel, no hay más desinfectantes, no hay más equipos de protección, no hay más estudios que te hacen para detectar si tenés coronavirus o no. Y hasta incluso, papá, acá están empezando a, eh, a elegir a la gente que atienden y a quién no. ¿Me entendés? Si una persona tiene el virus y tiene alguna patología que no se va a salvar, te mandan otra vez a tu casa. Solamente están atendiendo a la gente que no tiene una patología previa. Lo mismo están haciendo en Italia. La gente se está muriendo en la casa. ¿Entendés? Es terrible lo que está pasando acá en Madrid. Y ahora, el fin de semana, seguramente acá se cierre todo. Se cierre todo y vamos a estar todos en cuarentena. Hoy nos reunieron en la clínica donde trabajo porque muchos médicos que trabajan ahí tienen compañeros que trabajan en los hospitales públicos. Entonces nos reunieron, a mí me dieron una mascarilla, nos alertaron a todos, eh, se espera un brote terrible para el fin de semana porque se hizo un estudio y el virus mutó. ¿Qué significa eso? Que el virus está mutando. No es lo mismo cuando empezó en China que cuando llegó a Europa. Está haciéndose cada vez más fuerte el virus y acá ya hay gente joven infectada y entubada, sin patología previa. Acá está empezando a atacar a la gente joven. Tienen que cerrar todo en Argentina. No tienen que esperar que pase lo mismo que acá. Se tienen que tomar medidas previas. ¿Me entendés? So stay safe, friends. I love you very much if you're watching this on the other side. I wish you all the best. And we're going to make it through this one way or another. We're going to come out on the other side someday. And I hope you're there with me feeling good and strong. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. I'm going to make more episodes regularly from Orange County. 
California. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this or what's the situation. I'm sorry the quality is not as good as it usually is. I'm doing the best I can. Everything is happening so fast right now. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck to you. Take care of each other and just have a great day. Man, another thing, I stopped drinking alcohol. Like I stopped going to bars and not because I'm an alcoholic, but I just stopped drinking, okay? I'm not gonna lie, with all this stuff going on, I'm kind of glad that I'm about to pour me for the first time in like two months, a fresh cold Pacifico. I couldn't get the other kind of Mexican beer because that might get me demonetized. So I'm gonna chill out and try to forget all the drama going on in the world by sipping on a nice cold Pacifico. I love Mexican beer. I'm hoping this will kind of take the stress out of my life. I'm gonna eat some of my food and drink this down. I hope you guys take it easy too. Don't freak out. I know the world is going to hell in a handbasket. It's St. Patty's Day and I didn't have any alcohol yesterday. I'm getting one now. God bless you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day.